Today we stick around the Kenosha area, specifically along the lakefront. Kenosha is located in the southeastern corner of the state, on the shore of Lake Michigan, and is home to around 100,000 folks. We start our day here on Simmons Island, enjoying a nice sunrise and watching the morning fleet of fishermen heading out of the harbor. We take a stroll out to the North Pier Lighthouse. Later, we check out the south end of the city, including the old beach house, Kemper Hall, and then work our way to the downtown area. So stay tuned and enjoy. Good morning from Kenosha, Wisconsin. It's about 5, 5.30 a.m. here at the lakefront. The last of the fishing boats are heading out for the morning. And there goes 24-7, a local fishing charter boat. We got the beachfront all to ourselves this morning. Just us and a couple other photographers roaming around, waiting on the sunrise. And here it comes. This area across the harbor was once the manufacturing site for AMC. You know, Gremlins, Eagles, AMX, and the Wayne's World car, the Pacer. Now the site contains parks, museums, and high-end condos. This piece was added here to the end of the parking lot just a few years ago. The Twist by Michael Young. Very nice. Let's make our way out to the lighthouse. There's the Simmons Island Beach House.
looks like we have some fishing activity on the south end of the harbor. Let's head over there next. Okay, let's go. Wait, hold on. Looks like a deer got himself lost in the city. That'll happen. Okay, let's go for real this time. To the right is the old Southport Lighthouse. We'll come back later this evening to get a closer look. that there was once auto manufacturing happening on the very site that we're driving through. Harbor Park. Let's check it out. First things first, the lakefront. If you're thinking that that lighthouse looks similar to the profile picture for the channel, you're correct. It was at this very spot where we captured videos and images and then made the decision to create the channel to share with you folks. That was back in February of 2021. It was about minus 20 degrees out. Much cooler than today. I'll put a link at the end of this video if you want to check that out. It can be very peaceful and relaxing, fishing out here early in the morning. Ah, the Rainmaker 4. I remember the original Rainmaker up in Sheboygan many years ago. The sculpture walk around the park is very nice. and the Christopher Columbus statue. Okay, we'll make one more stop before breakfast. The old Southport Beach House and Park on the south side of town. Beach House and Park were constructed between 1936 and 1941 and funded partially by the President Roosevelt's Work Program Administration as part of the New Deal. 
Many of the materials used in the construction were recycled from the old post office building. Currently, the structure and the park are undergoing restoration. It seems to be going on forever. Its current completion is expected to be 2023. And there is the beach house. Let's park and get a closer look. Here's a storyboard with a few more facts about the old beach house. And another storyboard with facts about the old Kenosha Harbor. We'll take the trail along the lake to check out the Kenosha sand dunes. There's some nice sand dune trails ahead to the right. I've hiked them several times. Very nice. This trail used to keep going all the way across to that point in the distance. With the record high lake levels over the last four to five years, this whole bluff has been eroded away, along with the trail. Well, I'm getting hungry for some breakfast, and I've got a few errands to take care of. We'll meet back up here at the lakefront to continue exploring later. Oh, got one more errand to complete. Quick oil change for the daughter's car here at Lynch Chevrolet of Kenosha. Okay, back to the lakefront. Heading east on Highway 50 towards Lake Michigan. Wait, hold on. What do we got here? Found something here at Palman Auto that I might need. A daily driver economy car. It'll get about 10 miles to the gallon more than my Jeep Liberty. Will it tow the boat though? Buy it. 
I didn't end up buying it. Oh, old style. Off to the right is the spot, a cool drive-in burger joint. Their homemade root beer is awesome. I often buy a gallon to bring home for the fridge. Back at the lakefront. It seems like the wind has picked up, and there's a chance for rain, they say. We'll meander our way along the lake through the Allendale neighborhood to the downtown area. Some of the nicest homes are found along this stretch. This mansion was the former Anderson residence. Now it's home of the Anderson Art Center, part of the Kemper Center grounds. We'll have to make time in the future to come back and visit. Also on the Kemper grounds is the Kemper Hall which was originally the estate of Charles Durkee back in 1861. It was later donated to St. Matthew's Episcopal Church and was converted into a girls' boarding school. The school operated till about 1975 and now is operated as a recreational center. Let's continue north. Oh, here comes the rain. Here we are at Library Park just south of the downtown area. The old Masonic Temple, with Bethel Hill Temple to the right, just out of view. Let's check out the Simmons Memorial Library grounds and walk north towards downtown. Built in the late 1800s, the library opened in May 1900. It was designed by the famous Daniel Burnham in the neoclassical style.
Ooh, what's that? Friendship Park. Oh, check out that Gremlin. 1970 AMC Gremlin with the hood scoop, stripes, and the sport wheel package. Much of this area has returned back to normal since the civil unrest of August of 2020. However, there are still several boarded up properties. be noted that most of the remaining closed up properties were already vacant prior to the unrest. This place is new. Public Craft Brewing. We'll have to check it out sometime. Rustic Road Brewing Company. Let's stop in for a bite to eat and a beer. I'll take the Rustic Burger and Rustic Road Northwoods Cream Ale. Nice little place. <laughs> Looks good. And it was good. Let's continue north. Ooh, GTO. and we could see in the distance where we were early this morning. Can't pass up a peak in the Fex place. Look pretty quiet right now, but it'll pick up after sundown, as it always does. Okay, one last place to check out in the downtown area, Frank's Diner. Frank's Diner has been here in downtown Kenosha since the 1920s. It's always been a popular joint. The diner has been featured in many TV shows, travel magazines, newspapers, and radio programs. Let's head back to Simmons Island. Check out the old Southport Lighthouse. See what kind of sunset we might find this evening.
Looks like the Rainmaker charter boats are back at the docks. The Old Southport Lighthouse, built in 1866. The Lightkeeper's House is now a maritime museum. And you could climb the 72 steps up to the Lantern Room if you get here before 4 p.m. There's a storyboard with some additional facts. Let's head back down to North Pier Lighthouse as the sun begins to set. Not the best sunset, but we'll take it. Hope you enjoyed exploring the lakefront in downtown Kenosha, Wisconsin. Thanks for viewing. Good day.